this is my second time at uh, Mondo Music Exhibition, the uh, second international uh, string trade uh, show and seminar. I, I think it is a very important, uh, culturally very important um, event because um, a violin is a very important um, uh, object. Um, in 1511, Isabella d'Este was the first noble woman in um, uh, Europe to commission a set of uh, violins for her court. And um, we can consider that uh, December 1511 is the beginning of the professional violin making uh, tradition in Europe and in the world. And um, uh, therefore we just recently celebrated uh, 500 uh, years of this very important um, uh, tradition. And uh, why it is so important? Um, well, as uh, Hermann Hesse uh, said in, um, in the glass bead game, uh, that uh, classical music is the uh, quintessence and the epitome of European uh, culture. It is, it is its most uh, gracious um, uh, gesture. And um, it is a fact that the violin occupies the central part in that gesture because of course, the um, classical music has formed around the um, uh, orchestra and violins have formed the core of the orchestra. That's why it is um, a very important culture, a very, very important um, object. And um, uh, for me, it is very important. Uh, it, is, it, it makes me very happy to be a part of this incredibly long, incredibly rich uh, tradition. And what we can see here at Mondo Musica in New York is that this tradition is still uh, very much alive. It is uh, really exciting to be um, here, exhibit uh, instruments um, among the most important violin makers uh, uh, living and working um, uh, today. Um, and in the end, of course, it is all about um, uh, people. In first place, of course, the incredibly uh, talented, amazing violin makers all, 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 all over the place around me. And it is, of course, the organizers of the exhibition who made uh, me personally feel at home uh, here in New York already second time, the first time in, in Primona. So I'm very grateful for this. And uh, of course, I, I plan to participate in the near future. Um, thank you very much.